Since its foundation in 2014, South Coast Jazz has attracted top jazz musicians like David Sanborn, Holly Cole, Gene DeNovi, and Toronto Shuffle Demons, and the support of media figures like broadcaster Brian Master and the legendary Deanie Petty. And the potential for growth is only beginning. Moving to an online festival tripled South Coast Jazz audience, boasting 6,200 video views over a three-day festival. The online presence attracted over 1.3 million YouTube subscribers in Europe and grew over 800,000 new Facebook impressions in Asia, expanding the festival age and geographic demographics. The 2020's festival brought us all one step closer to home with a pandemic and original music by Queen Pepper and Jazz West. Thank you to the Wall Street Journal for recognizing South Coast Jazz as a top international must-see online event. The incredible Jackie Richardson and Mika Barnes were nothing short of captivating. Twenty twenty was a scream. Fasten your seatbelts for John Finley. Twenty twenty one also features Juno nominee Heather Bambrick and will again be recorded live off the floor with six cameras and multi tracks, ensuring a world class presentation. Norfolk County is known as Ontario's garden, and for good reason. It is also increasingly being recognized as a Canadian wine region, making it ripe for agritourism. With the same unstoppable spirit and energy that made her unforgettable on stage, Julianne has brought amazing music to Norfolk County, drawing in local merchants, wineries, and restaurants. With every new event, she fulfills her promise to bring the region incredible award-winning talent in a gorgeous, beachfront, rural setting. Passing on her gifts to the next generation gave Julianne joy when she started her own performance school, Pro Art, and she continues that commitment with South Coast Jazz and the Jazz and Juniors program. The festival's first three years saw a seven-figure boost in local tourist spending, making South Coast Jazz a major economic driver and international tourist destination. Come play and stay and discover the rural experience of South Coast Jazz, what visitors from 50 cities, four provinces and three states already have, the beauty of Ontario's garden and the pleasure of real instruments, real food, real memories. Come to South Coast Jazz, Norfolk County, and take away memories you'll carry with you forever. Hi, and welcome to the 8th Annual South Coast Jazz and Blues Festival. My name is Julianne Kachaki, and wow, are you in for a treat. We would like to thank Norfolk County. We would also like to thank Ontario Creates and Canada Council for the Arts. Without them, none of this would be possible. Next, we have an incredibly multi-talented woman. Her name is Heather Bambrick, and she's here with her quintet. Chase Sanborn on trumpet, 
Ben Whitman on drums, Ross McIntyre on bass, and on piano, The Hand, Michael Shand. This is a tune that was a, a classic from the Gershwin songbook, but um, we kind of played around with it a little bit. So uh, I kind of think of this as, as George and Ira Gershwin meet Jennifer Lopez and Ricky Martin. Because really, just look at us. <laughs> That's what you think of when you look at us. You'll know this one.
It's an extraordinary journey you've been on. You've done so well. You've got four solo albums. You've been a show host of the year. You've like awards after awards after awards. But at some point, you had to make a decision. Okay, I'm going to be a jazz singer, and I'm going to leave this lovely little place called Newfoundland and head out. When, how old were you when you did this? I was 22. Yeah. And, well, see, because I was going to do, I, I, you know, watched you and I watched other, other uh, journalists and I wanted to do that. But then I was going to do a little circuitous route. I was going to do journalism, but then I was going to do entertainment journalism. And then I was going to maybe focus on a little more music. And then I was going to branch out because I thought I'd have to do something like that, like get a degree in journalism first. Yep. And then, you know, move along. And then I, I, then I heard you could get a degree in jazz. And I thought, oh, Okay, so I applied to a bunch of schools. There were only three music programs that offered a degree in jazz. Uh, and one was McGill, and one was St. FX, and one was U of T. And St. FX and U of T said, yes, come on over. And I thought, well, Andy Ganesh is a little too close to St. John's. Yep. So I chose to come to Toronto when I was, yeah, 22. And that was... That was oh, just a little bit, yeah, just, just back there. I just, can see yep. it from here. You have such an interesting life journey because you, it's not only music. You do voices, radio shows. Yeah. You won awards for that. Can You just can't make up your mind. Is, no. is that seem to be it? I have a mortgage, Dean. That's <laughs> yeah, what it boils like, down to. Okay. I got to pay bills. Um, it's, it's, I think when I started doing this, I just thought, just say yes. You know, when opportunities come up, say yes. You have that thing that besides being, a, you are an entertainer. You're not a singer. You are an entertainer. You have covered so many different bases. You have an incredible sense of humor. So do you see yourself as such? Do you? As an we, entertainer? For sure. Because I think I, I want to do what I enjoyed. Like I want to be out in the audience or allow the audience to feel what I felt when I was in there shoes you know when I would get there get in the audience and, and get entertained and I love performers Jan Arden and Margot Timmons and people like that who have a story to tell and share it with you and take you with them and when yep. you think about you know the the Sinatras and the Dean Martins and the Sammy Davises and the people like that they did that you know they were they were show people yeah. and so when you when you left a show you felt like you got more than just a few songs you got a little bit of, you got a few laughs. You may have been moved to tears, maybe even. You felt like you knew them a little bit more. And you felt like the whole evening was an entertainment experience. And I figure if someone's going to pay 20, 30, 40, whatever the case may be, dollars to come and see me, I want to make sure that I make it worth their money. Get ready, because this next performer is a firecracker. Accompanied by the Lou Pamonti Trio, Mr. John Finley. Southern Isles Drift north to the pole How strange the things What time can do Like turning roses into
Our next performers we are thrilled to announce. Tabora Tabby Johnson, accompanied by Dave Restivo. Some of you have been lucky enough to find that one person that's easy to love. Me, I'm still single. Not that that's a bad thing. Living for you. It's easy living. It's easy to love. It's easy to live when you're in love. And I so in love there's nothing in life but you
get you happy, gents, and love. Just saying. We are so lucky to be entertained by Gene DeNovi and Dave Young, two living legends here in Canada.
I am with, well, not quite with, but uh, looking at the fabulous Mr. Gene Denovi, music legend and a man who at age at 92 as of this past May, there is a book online that if you want to know about jazz and fabulous things and, and the history of someone who's had an extraordinary career in music, it's on Wattpad, which means it's free. And it's I can hear the music, the Gene Denovi story. Yeah, what Wattpad.com. Yeah. Wattpad.com. And it's it's long. It's it's 40 something chapters. And you know what struck me when I was reading it? How do you remember all of this? Did you keep notes? Did you write stuff down? How did you remember it all? Well, I think uh, musicians tend to have good memories because uh, they exercise that particular muscle a lot, you know, learning, either learning lyrics or learning melodies. Yep. And you do that from the time you start. And I think that's the reason for it. How many songs have you written? Probably a couple of hundred. Wow. Yeah, I did well with them. Doris Day, Carmen McRae, Maurice Chevalier, Nancy Wilson. Good God. Lena Horn, Peggy Lee. They all did my songs, so they liked them. So I'm grateful for that. But the power of music, Gene, what it does to people. I, I, I remember reading about Peggy Lee and Peggy Lee believed in energy and vibrations and color. And she thought if she could sing, it could be because music is such an energy that affects people so deeply and profoundly. Yeah, well, I'm, uh, uh, incidentally, she was born on May 26, 10 years before me. Oh. Yeah, and I played for her when I was, I was 21 years old, first time I played for Peggy Lee. I know it's interesting that you wanted to play uh, with uh, singers because, and I found it interesting that you were tired of the bad boys of the jazz world, and the bad boys means guys who were doing heroin, they were junkies. So you went to play, and you played with Peggy Lee, Lena Horn, uh, and then a, the, a woman named Patsy showed up. Oh, yeah. Uh, McNeil. Patsy uh, McNeil. McNeil, yeah, who was a terrific dancer, yeah. And the mother of Michelle and Denise Denovi. Right. Yeah, Patsy McNeil was their mother, yeah. And she was a terrific dancer. Do you consider your life extraordinary? Do you, re do you think my, my life has been amazingly extraordinary? Yeah, is to think that I was next to so many great people in my time, you know. If I look on the wall here, here's Harold Arlen, here's Hugo Friedhofer, who would be with the Academy Awards for the best years of our lives. There's Lenny and Lena, who we were talking about. There's Tiny Khan and David Raxon and Duke Ellington, all the people that I was next to in my time. So if I I learned by osmosis, which was wonderful. What an extraordinary career and that you've ended up in Canada and been here all this time and, and have become a treasure of Toronto and a, and a staple of Toronto music. I was comfortable with the moment I came into Canada. Actually, I came with Tony Bennett, I think in 1950, uh, but we just played the Casino Theatre, which was on, on uh, Queen Street. I think, but I was at home in, in Toronto immediately and so many wonderful people I've learned to love here. They call it bass heaven here because there are so many great bass players. There's Dave Young and there's Neil Swainson and all, all, all these wonderful guys, you know, who uh, have made me sound good over the years, you know, I really enjoyed playing with all of them. We've uh, run out of time. It's been so nice to uh, talk to you. I look forward to seeing you live in a person tinkling the ivory somewhere soon when this all this madness passes. It's been so nice being with you. The amount of talent, creativity, and discipline it takes to be as great as this next guest is outstanding. All the way from New Jersey to South Coast Jazz, South Coast Cultural Society is thrilled to present Original music by Charu Suri and her trio.
Now Julianne Kuchaki with the Lou Pomonti Trio.
everyone, I'm Norfolk County's Mayor Crystal Cha. Today, I would like to take the opportunity to send a big congratulations to South Coast Jazz on their 8th annual festival. It might sound a little schmaltzy, but as a Port Doverite, I am beyond proud at the resilience and the creativity of this team to take a large in-person music festival and create this great hybrid event. Hey Jazz fans, Mike Marini from the Dover Apothecary here. Once again, we are proud to sponsor this amazing event with lots of local talent. So on behalf of myself and the staff of Dover Apothecary, we welcome you to the 2021 South Coast Jazz Festival. Enjoy! Steve Heathcott, Steve Lucas, and Lou Pamonti make up the Lou Pamonti Trio.
Every year with South Coast Jazz, we partner with some of the colleges in what we call our Jazz and Junior program. This highlights a lot of what's going on in the schools and gives all of the performers a chance to come out and work with professionals in a professional environment. Up next is Devin Goping, Daniel Batto, and Vanya Lee, our Jazz and Juniors for 2021.
quite a year. It's been quite a couple of years. Thank you so much for sticking with us. The, the Canadian government, so proud to be Canadian. Thank you to all of the crew and the talent and Canada Council for the Arts, Ontario Creates and Norfolk County. Without you, none of this would be possible. Thank you. And we would just like to give a special thanks to the family and friends of our beloved Michael Badaway and Aaron Bell. This one's for you. I find everything I need.